y'all a chance to get on here. First thing, say hi and tell me who you are and where you're from. And tag a friend because I'm going to give somebody, somebody that tags a friend, I'm going to send you something. I don't even know what it is yet, so it'll be a surprise to me too. But let me catch you on here with me. I always think I have everything ready, and I think I'm a little crooked. I'm going to go fix that too. And I don't. I just don't. I don't. I'm on there. Has anybody decided to be my, come over here and help me yet? I've got 30 people waiting on me. I'm coming back. All right, I think that's a little better. Um, I want to start out with just a little finding out who my people are. Who are you? Are you retired? Are you working still? Where do you work? Tell me something about you. Introduce yourself to me today. I will read them tonight. I just want to know who you are and, and who's joining me and do you love to cook and are you liking the recipes? So tell me who you are, what you do, if you're still working, if you're retired, and I would just love to read all of that. Also, I need you, I know I'm casual today, I just looked at myself. This is casual Saturday for me, um, so I hope I'm, I'm not offensive to anybody, but it sure feels good. Um, but. I forgot what I was going to say. Tag somebody. You tag somebody, and I. And if you don't know what tag means, just go to the comments and type a friend's name that you know is on Facebook, and you've got to do it just like they've done it. So, like mine would be Jessica Russell. You would have to type it just like that. Tag a friend. Tag more than a friend. Tag two or three friends. Tag as many friends as you want right now. Let's get some new people watching. And I forgot to turn the lights on. Guys, I'm telling you, I need... I'm, I'm an SOS today. Hold on. No wonder I could see y'all so well. Now the light's on and you can see me better, but I can't see you as well. But I hope you are enjoying your Saturday. And before we start cooking, I tried a little experiment and I wanted to share it with you because it is so, 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 so neat. Even my husband said, wow. So, um, I want you to, can you see this pot of water? Yes. I have got just a pot of water. I don't know if it can be hot or cold because I didn't read the directions well, but I did mine hot. You have gone to the grocery store, my husband did today. He got five, pick five. And if you've ever gone to the grocery store and they're having all those good sales and you're thinking, what am I going to do with five things of hamburger or two things of pork chops? But it's a good deal and you don't want to miss, mess it up. So I put this on a page for y'all and I tried it. But if you, if you found somewhere on my page it talked about all these little tricks about putting bread in with the cookies and... Uh, anyway, this was one of the tricks. And I thought, I am going to try this. And I even have one of those machines where you have to get it out and it sucks the air out. But I was so impressed with this. So, I left mine just like it is, just like I bought it from the grocery store. Or my, my husband, that Johnny Russell, bought it from the grocery store. Take your Ziploc, and it's better to have the ones that has the, uh, the zip this way because it's going to make it easier in just a minute. Put your meat in there. And if you've done this before, say, I, I've done it. All right. I'm making sure you can see. Yes, you can. I am just going to start putting this in the water slowly. And as I do, I'm going to leave the opening up here. And I'm pushing my hamburger down. And now you've got to keep pushing because you've got to get it where all the water that you possibly can get up to the top of the bag. And of course, it's, you don't want the water to go inside the bag. 
and I'm going to say that's close enough, and my husband helped me a while ago, but I'm going to zip that, and when I bring that out, look at that, guys, it's vacuum sealed itself. Is that not the coolest? Have you done that before? Yay! Let me see what's going on. Now, I, I just folded it over and put the other one in the freezer. So I brought the one out that I'd already done about two hours ago. And you can see. And they said that it'll help your meat keep for like six months longer. So, you saw it here. And I haven't even said who I am. All you newbies, I am Jessica Russell. Uh, I'd like to share my home with you and I'd like to do some cooking. And I am your southern hostess. So welcome if you're new. I'm going to put these in the freezer and I'll be right back. door it is a pantry it's a walk-in pantry and one of these days I'm going to show you in there I have it one wall completely completely covered with cookbooks uh, I have another island in there um, I have two dishwashers and I, I probably need three because we constantly fill those two dishwashers up but um, it is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house it is my place that I can go make a mess, shut the door, and come back out and entertain, and nobody sees that mess unless they go in that room. But one of these days, I promise you, I'm going to show you in there. But let's me see what's going on. We've got a wow, and we've got a new person joining. If you're a newbie, tell me you're new. Ooh, goodness gracious. Y'all ready to cook? Once again, if you just uh, jumped on here, tell me if you're working, if you're retired. Tell me something about yourself so I know a little bit about who my audience is. Let me uh, move this water. I've got another I hope trick. You know, I'm kind of, I wouldn't say a sucker for um, gadgets, but I like gadgets that work, and I like it when it makes mine and Johnny Russell's life easier. So, he likes to make chicken salad a lot, and the hardest part of that whole thing is hard-boiled eggs and getting the shell off. How many of you have a hard time with that? And if you have a trick, let me know, but I think I have found what we need. Because um, <laughs> one of those nights I was on Facebook, you know how those little commercial buy me, blah, blah, blah. Well, once again, it was looked like something I would like. And it is this little gadget. And I'm really afraid to open it because I haven't used it before. And it goes with our recipe. So I probably should have tried it before now. And I'm, I'm sounding like a little crybaby here. But I wonder if I open this up and it doesn't work. We may have to forfeit what's going on here. But what this is, guys, is you actually put, um, crack your egg and put it in here, leave, of course, the shell out, put this little top back on here and put it in boiling water. Let me get a bowl or a pan. And they're hot because I've just taken them out. And like I told you, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Don't know. Johnny Russell may have to come down here. Kind of looks like a poached egg, but... All right. I'm all right with that. I'm okay with that. If you were putting that in a chicken salad, are you coming down to help me? I think we're fixing to meet Johnny Russell. Um, <laughs> he might, yeah, he's coming down, guys. Um, a little of the white was in here, 
and that may be I'm supposed to let it cool off. So I'm going to let Johnny finish that. But this is the whole concept, and then I'm going to put all this in the dishwasher. Um, you saw it's four pieces. You actually put your raw egg in there, put it back together, and put it in boiling water. And you do not have to peel that cracked shell off of that egg. Come over here. This is my husband, Johnny Russell. He, he is my, um, my best friend. He helps me. He loves uh, food. I love food. <laughs> and he, he definitely is a good help in the kitchen. So he's going to work on these chicken for me. And there you go. And let me put it over there for you. Thank you. I think they need to cook. I did bring the box because I do think that's neat. How many of y'all like that idea? Um, I bought mine again on Facebook, but I guarantee you, you can buy, uh, buy this on Amazon. So let me put the box up there for you. Hard boiled eggs without the she shell. And I'm sure a Amazon would carry that and that does six eggs. So, while he's doing that, I hope that, oh good, I'm getting some responses of what you're doing and you're tagging some people and I am going to pick a winner this after I get off of here and I'm going to ask you for your address and I'm going to send you something special. I don't know what it is. And thank y'all for the people that have, this week, I've had new people come to the shops at occasions. Um, I hope you're on here. I can't remember your name. But you were so sweet. She came to the store yesterday and she had never been and they had driven an hour and a half from Kentucky. Uh, that just makes my heart beat louder and my, my smile a little bigger and I appreciate it. So yes, it is definitely a trip worth coming to. Um, if you want to catch our clothes, check us out on occasion slash five chefs. And on that page, we're going to have auctions on Tuesday night at five o'clock. I always put it on here so you can see it. But... All right, guys, we are ready to cook. Let me get a drink. And one of my girlfriends gave me this, building an empire. So, uh, I don't know. They, they tell me, my brain never shuts down. My husband will tell you that. It never, never, never stops. I'm continually trying to do and uh, think about other things, but that's just who I am. All right. I've got my oven. Um, 350 and it says 400 so hold on I have put butter instead of Pam in the bottom of this I just melted some butter okay um, your ingredients and Taylor is working on all the ingredients I mean all the recipes right now as we speak so she might get caught up with me today. I am going to, I am going to take my chicken and I am going to put it on the bottom, making sure I'm knowing what I'm doing. And I have never made this. It's a recipe I actually got at the Southern Women's Show in Nashville this, this weekend. But when I looked at it, it wasn't exactly what I wanted, so I added some things. So I've, I've kind of changed the recipe, and that's why I'm going back and forth. But we've got some butter in our 9 by 13, and I'm going to add some chicken straight on the bottom. And uh, once again, guys, whatever chicken you want, um, if I don't have a lot of time, I am going to use, I believe it's Tyson. Is it Tyson, Johnny? Uh, different brands. What? You use home mail, different ones. Okay. So just get a premium white chicken. Premium white chicken. And if you hear him, Johnny goes to the grocery store for me a lot and that helps out so much. And he, he does it because I think he loves me, but he also does it because he gets what he wants. And so it's a win-win. Now, I'm going to add what I did, guys, before I got on here. I sauteed an onion and then I... Um, put a can of peas in here and I put some carrots and I drained the carrots. So I put the whole can of peas with the juice, I drained the carrots, I sauteed the onion with butter before I did anything and then I add them all together. And guess what? I haven't even told you what we were making except on top of the page. We are making 
easy peasy chicken pot pie. And I don't know where you're from, and, I, and I'm going to read that later, but it's cold outside in Tennessee. We are having this weather. In fact, Johnny said, I've got chocolate cake with chocolate icing that we made two nights ago. We're making this chicken pot pie, and we've got two, uh, see, uh, not, we got one season and two episodes left on a show that we watch. So we are ready to get settled in with some comfort food, dessert, and some good movies. So, um, I am just going to sprinkle this over the chicken. Do they work pretty good? Uh, we'll, have the, to, we'll have to work on that. We'll all right. We've got to get the container sealed good. Our eggs are not perfect, but I think they're going to taste like same hard-boiled eggs. And I don't think you had any problems getting the shells off of those, did you? No. No shell there. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to use all of this. I just want to make sure there's enough in every bite. And I will put this probably on the, the what's left over. I'll put it on the side of Johnny's plate and he'll have extra vegetables. All right. Next, we're going to take these hard-boiled eggs. And I always like to see what's going on with y'all. <laughs> And I told you, we've got to go audible because I mean, I forgot to put the chocolate chips in last, last time I was on here. And it was funny. Hello, Donna. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Connie. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Amy. Hi, Dottie. Hello, Paula. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Casey. Y'all are so good to me. Let's see. Hello, let's see. Reba. Hello, Reba. Hello, Dawn. Hello, Myrna Mitten. And... Hello, Brenda. Hi, Brenda Walker. I hope you're doing fine. And my neighbor. I see my neighbor's on. Good. All right. I am going to, before I put um, the salt and, I mean, the, the egg, and y'all can look at this egg. Y'all can see we've got to master that just a little better. I am going to put the boiled egg right on the top of my vegetables. They smell like an egg. They look like an egg. So it is an egg. A little math. Y'all hear George Strait? I think we've played Nora Jones this week and Randy Travis, and now we're to George Strait. That tells my age, but I don't care. It's what we like. In fact, we even like older music. You're Johnny Cash and George Jones. All right. I just want to give you a look in case you are making this, and I know some of you made the uh, chicken and broccoli. Was it not? It was delicious. Probably one of the best chicken broccolis. So if you missed that, that recipe should be coming up soon. But it was so good. I made it in, um, it wasn't a 9 by 13 because uh, it didn't take up. I said a 9 by 9 would probably work the best. But there was only one serving left. And I took some up to my mom and dad and my brother up there. And then Johnny and I had a little bit of it. And it was delicious. So make sure you go back and try that chicken and broccoli casserole. All right. Let's salt and pepper. All right, next I am going to make sure I do this right. Uh, new recipe. I am going to take three cups of chicken broth and a can of chicken, cream of chicken. And my husband got cream of chicken with herbs and that's okay. You can do the plain or you can do a season. I am going to stir that quickly. And while I'm stirring, I'm going to be looking. Scott's full 
Kentucky. Are you tagging somebody for me? Because I, I, once again, I'm going to give you something. <laughs> I just don't know what it's going to be. to pour this directly. And it's okay that, ooh. Might have been better if I'd done a whisk. And then I am going to take, let me make sure I'm doing this right. I am going to take self-rising flour this is kind of like that peach cobbler we made. If you remember, a stick of butter, a stick of flour, a stick of this. Well, you're going to take your flour, and you're just going to go right over the top. Is there anything else that you would have added to the chicken pot pie? I think it's got enough in there. We've got our chicken, onions, carrots and peas. Now I'm going to get a cup of milk. And I've got, I'm going to warm this milk up just enough to help it temperature wise when it goes in. So let me put this in the microwave. And while that's warming up, ask me something. Tell me something. Tell me something good. Okay. Lori from Oak Grove. Let's see which way do I go. Pat Harrison. Cheddar cheese would be great. Mushrooms would be great. Chopped potatoes would be great. I love all of those suggestions. Hello, Margaret. We are making, it's called an easy chicken pot pie. And while I was doing this, you know, my husband and I, we like the crust and sometimes we fight over the topping. You could also do the same recipe if you would like in a rampican and just make everybody have their own little uh, topping. Uh, so if you have rampican bows, this would be a great one that you could do that in. All right, here my milk's done. love that old squeaky door makes it sound like home I'm gonna take my warm milk and my melted butter and I'm just gonna mix those together and the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drizzle this and guys do not stir this And it is a, a hour long bake, so I'll take a picture after it comes out. But one of the keys is do not stir it. And what I will probably do is halfway through, I'm going to stick that down there just a little to make sure all of that is getting something with it. But I will check it halfway through, and you know me and my butter. I may add just a little more hard butter on the top to melt wherever it falls. Not saying I'm doing it, but I might. All right. This is going in the oven. The oven's on 400. The timer's on, let me make sure I've said that right. Yep, the timer's on uh, 60 minutes. I will take a picture when it gets out. Woo, 
Watch me drop this. done 400 for an hour uh, I'm gonna check it I, I set my timer for 30 minutes to check it to see if it's okay if it needs a little more up to it I love your suggestions I think potatoes would have been great in there uh, what else did y'all say some celery everything that y'all said sounds great so once again with cooking and with me whatever you like because I'm gonna leave garlic out of a lot of stuff I cook It'll be on your recipe, but Johnny and I, we don't like a lot of garlic, garlic, so um, we leave it out. So this is the one thing I want you to learn about cooking is make it yours, make it your recipe, make it what you and your family like, and you don't have to follow it perfect. You just get the idea and, and move on with it. So let's see what we've got, and we're fixing to get off. Just got on. Is that out of your new cookbook, Debbie? It is, and I put. I said that at the beginning. It's um. It's at the new cookbook that I got at the women's show. But Debbie, I revised it. I added more to it, and you can continually. But if you've got the base where it needs to be and the topping where it needs to be, then you can do whatever you want in the middle of it. Okay, I make something similar. Uh, living in California. Hello, California. Yes, here we go. Mushrooms, cheddar cheese, chopped potatoes, all that would be great. Uh, you just jumping on, y'all go back and watch it. This is one of the shorter videos. Uh, chicken pot pie, the recipe I hope will be on there today for you. I will take a picture as soon as it comes out and tag a friend. Tag more than one friend. Have a great uh, tomorrow. We celebrate the Lord's Day on Sunday at our house, so blessings. Bye.